Hello everyone. So you may have heard the term, if you're into Bluetooth speakers like myself or any other speakers, passive radiator technology. Now, what does that mean? You know, why do companies keep, you know, going on and on and on about these passive radiators? I know JBL pretty much the whole fleet uses passive radiator technology. But what actually is it? So, in this video, obviously, as the title suggests, I will explain and demonstrate how passive radiator technology works. So here we have a flip three, obviously with the cover off, so I can show you all the components. So here you have two 40 millimeter speakers, full range speaker drivers. But on the ends is the passive radiator technology that everyone's going on about. Now, how this works is you've got the two speakers here, driven by the amplifier, of course, in the back of the speaker. Now, if you look around the speaker here, there's no holes, it's a completely sealed unit. And there's a very good reason for that, because in order for the passive radiator technology to work, it has to be a sealed unit, because how it works is these speakers, doing their normal job, obviously, will vibrate to create the sound. Now, if you have a sealed unit, these speakers will vibrate, they will make air pressure in the body of the speaker here, which will then drive the passive radiators. So, as you can see, if I push both in, the speaker cones come out. If I release, the speaker cones go back in. Same thing on this side. If I push the other passive radiator, that one moves. And it's all to do with the air pressure inside the speaker. The reason the companies use these is because they can extend the lower frequency range of the device. So rather than having a ported system with these types of speakers, obviously it's not going to sound that great. But with passive radiator technology, it makes it sound a lot better. So what I'll do now is I will play a song on the system with both speaker cones intact in the, in the device. And then I will play the same section of the track with one speaker cone removed. Because if I remove one speaker cone, it will break that air seal, which is crucial to this, how this system operates and it does sound very, very, very harsh and tinny and downright disgusting. So, I'll see you in the next clip. Okay, so this is what the Flip 3 sounds like with the passive radiator technology. So, as you saw, two speaker cones moving, creating the air pressure in here, which in turn was moving the passive radiators on the end, and also shaking the camera a little bit. Now, in the next clip, you'll see one speaker removed, as I said earlier, and you'll be able to hear the stark contrast between a brilliant sounding speaker and a really awful sounding speaker. I will play it while holding the speaker in to keep the air pressure, and then I will release it and take the speaker out so you can hear the difference. Here we go. So as you can hear and see, we stop. Here's our foot, the air pressure. So you can still vibrate the lip, we say. As soon as I put that back in. So there you go, very, very simple and effective way to just increase the bass on a small speaker system without really compromising power because it's all powered by the two speakers there. I'll just put this back together again. Do not try this at home because it's very, very easy, especially on this speaker, to damage the seal and then the speaker is basically useless because as soon as you break the seal on the speaker cones here it won't sound as nice and it'll just sound awful like it did when I took the speaker out.
And most sort of smaller speakers use these. I know this one, the Flip 3, the Charge 3, the Extreme, the Bose Soundlink range of speakers also use passive radiators. If you want me to do a demo on my two Bose speakers, I have the Soundlink 2 and the Soundlink Color. If you want me to do a demo on them, just let me know in the comments. So there you have it guys, that was my video on how passive radiators work. Very, very, very simple devices, but very, very, very useful for extending the bass and just making the speaker sound a lot better than it would without. So for those of you that were wondering what passive radiators do, how they operate, what they're all about, this video should have cleared that up for you. So as always guys, please like if you enjoyed, dislike if you didn't, so I know to improve for future videos. Comment if you want to know anything more, if you want to see any other speaker demonstrations. Subscribe if you enjoyed the video. And I will see you again very soon.